Hello, and welcome to today's tips, tricks, and best practices for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. My name is Michael Dodds, and I'm a support consultant here with LedgerView Partners. Today's topic is how to share dashboards, views, and charts. Now, many of you may be asking, why would I ever need to share my dashboards or views and charts that are personal to me? Who else would get benefit out of this? In today's workplace, being efficient in your work and creating synergy with your coworkers is paramount. And that can be all done and achieved through sharing dashboards, views, or charts. The reason for that is if you have a view, a chart, or a dashboard that works great for you and would apply to people in a similar position or other people throughout your company, sharing that dashboard view or chart with them will prevent them from recreating the wheel and will save them much needed time to focus on other parts of their job. Now, if this is a dashboard view or chart that everybody in the company is going to be using, having your system administrator set up a system chart, system dashboard, or a system view is the best route to go. But if it's really only going to be used by you and a few of your coworkers in a similar role, sharing them is the best course of action. So let's jump into CRM, and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to share these items. So within CRM, we're going to start with sharing a view. So if we go to Advanced Find, we're going to open this into a full screen, and it's just going to load all the Advanced Find information. That's why sometimes these take a little bit of time. Now the key important piece when sharing views is you want to make sure you set your look for to the entity that your view is under. So if we want to share a view, an opportunity view, we want to set our look for to opportunities. Then our next step, we don't need to check on you saved view. We only need to click on this saved views button in our ribbon. And then we're going to take a look at ops closing in the last 30 days. We're going to check mark this. And then as you can see here up in the ribbon, there's a share feature. Click on the share button. And please note that you must have the appropriate security settings to share views with others. But if you do, that share button will be, will be visible and clickable for you. The first step to share a view with someone is to click on Add User or Team. Now this is going to start out with User. You can always change this to a team. If there's a particular team that you want to share it with. And then just search for your user, just like any, any other lookup field within CRM. Then check mark their name, click Select, and click Add. Now this is the key part. Whenever sharing anything with anyone in the company, they must have read access, otherwise you're not really sharing it with them. So read is always going to be automatically checked. Now write access, that simply means edit. They can edit your view. So if they want to make tweaks or changes to it to make it their own, you can give them write access. I don't recommend giving them delete access because then the view's gone. Assign, that simply means that they can assign ownership of the view to someone else. And share means that they can share it with someone else, just like you're doing right now. So you set the specific security settings for the view that you're sharing. Once you have them set to your liking, you click on Share. Once it completes, this will appear in their My View section within that entity and also with an advanced find in the use saved views under my views. Now this does not send them an email or a notification of any kind, so you're going to want to notify that user that you shared the view with. Next let's move on to charts and how to share charts. So we're going to close out advanced find and we're going to navigate to opportunities and then we're going to move out this little chart section by clicking on charts. And then we can select our charts. 
your personal charts that you're going to be able to share are down in my charts. So if we click on actual revenue by owner, and then these three dots, they're known as the overflow menus. Any commands that aren't immediately available are going to be in this overflow menu. So click on the overflow, and then click on share. The sharing process is the exact same as it was for views. You'll add the user or team, and then set the security setting. The reason I started with views and charts first is because if you're sharing a dashboard and you're using any personal views or personal charts within that dashboard, you want to make sure you share those views and charts first before you share the dashboard with them. Otherwise, they're going to be unable to view all pieces of that dashboard. They're only going to be able to see what they have access to. So now that we've shared the personal views and charts, we're going to move on to dashboards. So under sales, we're going to go to dashboards. And then under our drop down, we're going to select our my dashboards. We're going to select demo dashboard. And then to share this, again, we're going to go to the more commands, the overflow menu. And then we're going to share this with our other users and click on Share Dashboard. And again, this is the same sharing setup as it was for Views and Charts. And you can add multiple at once. So you can add multiple users and share it with multiple users. When you're done, simply click Share, and it will appear for them in their My Dashboard section. I want to thank you for attending today's session on how to share dashboards, charts, and personal views. If you're ready to learn more, there's additional tips, resources, and information at LegendViewPartners.com. Our contact information is on the slide here. If you ever have any questions or want more information, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for attending today's session. Hope you have a great day.